a while ago, I did a spike video, when to cut, not to cut, based on the hormones, and I talked about cutting a spike prematurely. We should wait until the buds separate themselves from the actual spike, because by that time, the hormones have mobilized and the orchid thinks it's going to bloom. In order to save any energy from my Doriotanopsis Sogo Bibian that is languishing, this spike right here, I've been waiting for it to develop until the buds separate from the spike, like you can see here, because now I'm going to cut it and that is going to save the energy in the orchid. It's going to mobilize the hormones to register the fact that, whoops, we didn't get to bloom. And with that, hopefully, it's going to start considering growing either roots or another structure, even though it's not the time of year for it to do so, giving it maybe a six weeks to eight weeks head start to mobilize those hormones so that when the weather is good enough and right enough, I have saved it some time and some energy. That is the plan.